Hey everyone, Kimo here, and welcome to my patio. I'm excited to participate today in a collaboration called For the Boys. This collaboration is with some excellent makers, and the whole idea behind the For the Boys collaboration is that each of us is creating a DIY project with the men in our life in mind. I have links in my description to the channels of all the participating makers in today's collaboration, as well as a link to the playlist where you can see all the videos and see what everybody is making. Today I have a Halloween DIY project inspired by the Game of Thrones. Specifically, this one is inspired by the White Walkers and they look kind of creepy, which is exactly why this is the perfect project for any guy. I'm going to be using these barber heads or mannequin heads that I got from a friend who works at the local uh, cosmetology school. Now if you've seen Game of Thrones before, you know that the White Walkers are the evil undead army that are basically set out to take over the world. So I'm going to use some crafting tips and tricks along the way to create a really stunning and scary look. Before we go any further, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a new video on my channel. And I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in a comment down below what your favorite part is of this Halloween DIY. It's for the boys. All right, let's get started. Starting with these heads, I wanted to talk a little bit about what these heads are. So it looks like the inside of this head is made out of foam, but there's this protective skin outer layer that's made out of sort of a pliable plastic. So my plan is to cut into the eyes and create these deep sockets so I can put these little mini lights in them. Now these mini lights are a little bit smaller than your typical votive candles. Um, I got them a few years ago when I was decorating for a party and came up with the idea to use these in these frosted glass vases that we used as centerpieces. I have a few of these left over, which I'm going to use to help me light up the eyes in the piece. And I'm also going to create the actual blue piercing eyes using these glass gems that I got from the Dollar Tree. They come in. So here is our mannequin barber head, and uh, I'm gonna use a sharp utility knife to cut these eyes open. I know that sounds a little gruesome, but hey, it is Halloween. So you can see that I'm following the outline of the eyes with that utility knife, and I'm going to take off that bit of plastic, and you can see the foam peeking through underneath. I'm gonna cut out some of that foam as well to create those deep sockets where we'll put those little mini lights into and that will help to create the desired blue eyed effect that we're going for. I'm also using that utility knife to cut open that mouth just so that I can get a little bit more of a different uh, look, a different expression on the face, something a little creepier. You can see that I'm also using my fingers to press down on the foam to create a space inside of the mouth and also inside of the eyes. Here I'm adding a little bit of cornstarch to my black craft acrylic paint. I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. Adding that cornstarch gives a little bit of texture to the paint and creates uh, almost a chalk-like uh, a chalk paint like effect where it can attach to any surface a lot better. I want to get that black paint over the entire surface that way it'll create a really nice undercoat for the other layers of paint that I'll be putting on top of it. And yes we're even painting the hair as well. Now while that's drying I'm going to be working on the eyes and we're gonna use some glass gems. I've already applied just a small dot of nail polish, black nail polish to the center. And now we're gonna use a couple of other colors of nail polish to create a blue cloudy-like effect for the eyes. Starting with this lighter blue, a uh, lighter turquoise, I guess, that I'm simply dabbing on a little bit here and there. I'm not doing a full coat of it, leaving some, leaving some open spaces for the next color, which is a a richer blue in a nail polish color um, and we'll be adding that as well just kind of dabbing around as we did with the previous lighter blue. I have to say I'm so happy for this collaboration because Halloween is one of my favorite holidays to decorate for, maybe even more than Christmas. 
our black acrylic paint has dried on the surface of our head. And so now I'm gonna be drawing some lines using a pastel pencil that will help to mimic the lines on the White Walker heads. Once I've drawn all the lines needed on our face, I'm going to get our hot glue gun and start tracing those lines carefully. This will create a texture around those areas where I have the lines and will help me in the later step to really create some dimension. Once I've added those lines with our hot glue, and once everything has dried, we're gonna go back with a little bit of leftover white latex paint that I have from a previous home project. And we're going to do almost a dry brush technique, um, really accentuating those lines and creating the contrast between the white paint and this underlayment that we've previously painted in the acrylic black paint. And now to give the face a little bit of a blue tinge, we're going to add some light blue craft paint, but I've watered it down quite a bit because I really don't want to put too much on there. I really just want to create this uh, sort of highlighted effect all over the piece, including the face as well as the hair. Now you can definitely see the layers upon layers that we're building with this piece, which is really giving it some great texture and dimension. And we're gonna start finishing things off with this little creepy cloth that I got from the Dollar Tree. We're going to uh, glue it onto the base of the neck so that there's not such a hard edge at the bottom of our head. And once we've glued on that fabric, now we're going to start assembling our piece. We're gonna turn on that little mini light and stuff it into the eye. It's kind of a tight fit, but it works. And then on top of that, we'll be placing that glass gem uh, right on top of the eye. I decided to add a bit more black acrylic paint to the edges of each of those glass gems just to give it a bit more dimension and to make the blue pop even more. And here is our final creepy result. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified every time we upload a new video, and wishing you a very scary Halloween.